Okay. Good morning, boys. As you have told me that you want explanation of ecology, so let's uh, talk about ecology, overall description, and uh, that uh, few topic from the ecology I'm going to explain. This is a big chapter. So the only the, the points which uh, that uh, is, uh, you know, that the regular questions are coming and you are feeling problem to answer this type of topic I'm going to explain today. So the first topic of ecology that uh, the sun, uh, the role of the sun in the biological system, you know, this is the principal source of energy input in the biological system is the sun. The, the earth received the light energy and the heat energy from the sun and the photosynthetic plant and some bacteria can trap the light energy and convert it, convert it into the chemical energy. And all the heterotopic organism, okay, those who are uh, the consumer couldn't be able to make their own food. These heterotopic organisms obtain their energy by eating plants or animals that has eaten plants. So all organisms get their energy directly or indirectly from the sun. Now, after this, the role of the biological system, the sun, the, the role of the sun in the biological system, after that, there are a food wave and food chain uh, uh, that constructing a food wave, uh, constructing a food chain. This is the question they are giving. Sometimes they have given the food chain uh, that or the food wave, they are telling you to find the relationship between the uh, two or three different organisms, or they are going to ask you to uh, uh, the, write the name of the producer or the secondary consumer. Different types of questions are coming from the uh, that uh, food wave. Huh. So where that many different food chains are interlinked together. So I don't think so. This question is the problem. Now, this is easy question. You can answer this thing. Sometimes they are telling you that uh, they will give you the food wave and they will take that one of the organism has gone from one uh, that uh, the, from one part of the food wave. What could be the uh, that uh, effect, possible effect? So you know that if any organism has been taken away from the uh, that uh, ecosystem from the food wave, then the predator. Uh, so the predator will have less food, right? So predator number will be less, and the, these organisms uh, also are predated for other organisms. That organism will increase their number because of less predation. So each and every organism they have a niche, they have a role to play in their habitat, right? And you know this that. Why the transfer of energy from one tropic level to another is inefficient, right? Because 90% energy has lost at each uh, level of the food chain. This means that the longer the food chain, very less energy entering to the producer and very less energy will be available for the top carnivore. So the shorter the food chain, the less energy is lost. So, and there is a common question in the past paper, explain why the food chains usually have fewer than five tropic levels. These also you know, because the energy from the producer to top carnivores are lost. Between each tropic level, the limits the length of it. 90% energy lost at each level for the movement, excretion, easation, maintaining their temperature. So by this time, when the energy has reached to the fifth tropic level, there is not enough energy left to supply for the next link. So that's the reason, you know, that the uh, that food chain usually have fewer than five tropic levels, and it will be five only if it is started from phytoplankton. Otherwise, maximum three to four link. Yeah, so less energy is lost to the environment at the producer level. So if you are taking uh, food from the producer level, it, yeah, it's the greater. Okay, that. Someone, I'm hearing sad. some sound. Sad. Sad. Turn off Someone your, is uh, watching some movie or like that, some sort of TV sound. Gazi sad, Gazi sad. Yes. So if you are taking that uh, food, uh, the substances from the producer level, this is the greater efficiency in supplying uh, that uh, producer level organism as a human food, according to the conservation rules. And now, this also you can understand uh, that why it is more energy efficient for human to eat plant crops rather than feeding crop plants to the livestock and then use them as a food, right? Boys, do you have any uh, that confusion regarding this point? I need your feedback. No, miss. Okay. You know this, right? Uh, because uh, that uh, feeding that uh, crops 
that if you are taking the crops you will get more energy but rather than if you feed the crops to the uh, that uh, chicken or the other livestock and you are taking them as a food source so you will be third consumer right in between the energies will be losing from producer to the first consumer then the second consumer so it will be more energy efficient if you're taking the food from the producer level directly now um, that uh, advantages of food wave rather than food chain because it shows the more uh, that uh, realistic uh, that uh, picture because many organisms they are not eating one type of food so one organism could be connected with different food chain in a food wave and uh, you know that uh, if any foreign species are coming to the habitat there are different type possible there are different types of effect could be there local food chain or the food wave could be affected uh, and you know uh, that uh, stabilize, uh, stability of the ecosystem could be disrupted and many local species may become extinct or endangered because the alien species okay they have more adaptability to uh, that uh, uh, to that local community maybe local ecosystem so the, the organism the local plants will not get the sufficient amount of food so and this alien species might introduce some diseases also and ecological pyramid there is a always the uh, uh, multiple choice questions are coming they will give you the uh, that question and according to that you have to find out that diagram there are different types of ecological pyramid this is the diagrammatic representation of energy transfer from producer to top carnivores in an ecosystem now boys this uh, uh, pyramid of uh, that uh, and uh, that ecological pyramid there are three types of pyramid pyramid of energy pyramid of biomass and pyramid of number but you don't need to know about the pyramid of energy this is uh, that not in our syllabus only biomass and number biomass means you are considering the mass and the number means you are considering the number that's why whenever you are talking about the biomass you have to mention a particular time because uh, different time uh, suppose that uh, uh, winter time when the trees are uh, losing their leaves in that time the biomass and the summer time or the spring time when they are uh, producing their fruits hmm, new, new leaves are coming in that time the biomass is not same so the total mass of all organic matter of an ecosystem in a particular time is called biomass and pyramid of number you know this is exactly uh, it shows the number of each organism the problem is the large organism and the small organism both are counted equally uh, that uh, in pyramid of number this is the one disadvantages and so uh, miss, are, yes yes miss. Uh, miss can you explain me the definition of biomass again biomass means that you have to consider about the mass of the organism and mass of the organisms are not same every time you can think about yourself also if you're taking two glasses of water and after that you're measuring your mass and if you are measuring your mass empty stomach it will not be same so you have to uh, give the statement when you are measuring your mass it is early in the morning empty stomach or at night after taking milk then we can understand hmm, that about we can get the idea of your mass okay so uh, suppose in ecosystem also during the summer time new leaves are uh, that new fruits flowers and the leaves are there right so biomass will be more and winter time if you're taking the biomass the most of the trees are losing the leaves so biomass will be less that's why the total mass of all organic matter of any ecosystem at a particular time this is called biomass and by pyramid of biomass always gives you the pyramid structure but number as phytoplankton also or the big oak tree everything you are counting as the number this cannot be accurate so pyramid of biomass is more accurate than pyramid of number and pyramid of biomass is based on their mass pyramid of number is based on their number and pyramid of biomass always upright gives you the pyramid shape but pyramid of number sometimes inverted when you started from a tree but if you are uh, started from the leaves plant leaves you are taking as a number then it will give you the pyramid shape and this is another question is coming in the uh, past paper the advantages or the disadvantages advantages of pyramid of biomass or disadvantages of a pyramid of number this is clear you know if you understand this pyramid of biomass is more accurate than pyramid of number it's always 
because pyramid of number treats a lar large organism and a small organism equally. But it cannot be correct, right? Depends on the biomass. A few large organisms can have more energy than many small organisms. And the shape of the pyramid of number also varies from ecosystem to ecosystem. See, if you start the, uh, that pyramid of number from an oak tree, the producer level, the base will be smallest. And then caterpillar, the number will be more. But if you start from the plant leaves, so number is more. And then the number of the caterpillar will be less than the plant leaves. So two different ways, if you're constructing the pyramid of number, they're giving you two different shape. So this is the reason pyramid of uh, that numbers are not exactly correct. Now that uh, the most important thing is nutrient cycle, boys. This is coming every time and the nitrogen cycle, this nitrification, denitrification, this point, you people are always doing the mistake. So first I want to take a uh, talk about the water cycle or hydrologic cycle. This is very easy, you know, that uh, yeah, the, uh, the water goes up and the evaporation and then condensation, then it falls down through the precipitation. This is, there is a no problem. And uh, uh, you know this, the use of water, the way the rainwater collects in the stream, river, lake, ultimately find its way back to the ocean. The human population diverts some of this water from drinks, washing, cooking, irrigation, hydroelectric scheme and other industrial purposes. This, you know this all. Uh, and uh, you also know the sun shining and the wind blowing over the ocean uh, that uh, evaporates the water from that vast exposed surface area. The water vapor produces in this way, enters the atmosphere and eventually it condenses to form the cloud. When the cloud rises over the mountain and the high ground, they cool and the water condenses from the rain, which we call precipitation. Now I want to tell you about the carbon cycle. So first, this uh, that carbon dioxide, it will go away or leave from, uh, uh, the atmosphere through photosynthesis, right? Plants will take carbon dioxide and we, heterotrophic organisms, we are giving carbon dioxide to the atmosphere by the respiration. When the plants are taking this carbon dioxide, they are producing energy uh, that uh, by, the, uh, the, by the process of photosynthesis, they're producing glucose, right? So the carbon become part of the plant by the process of photosynthesis, right? Now, when the, this plant has been eaten by the animal, this atmospheric carbon, see, the carbon dioxide you have given to the atmosphere by the process of respiration has been taken to the plant and uh, making glucose by the process of photosynthesis. When you are taking plant product as your food, so this, uh, that carbon enters inside your body as a form of carbohydrates, lipids, or proteins. When plants, animals, even we are also in a group of animals, right? When we die, they are buried, may turn into fossil fuels. And you are using this energy to run the vehicles and run the industry. So they are also made of carbon like coal, oil, over a million years before. So actually, this is the you know, that uh, cycle, the carbon, how it is rotating in the ecosystem. When human burn the fossil fuel, most of the carbon quickly enters to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide, which has been trapped in the uh, plants by the process of photosynthesis, and when this plant buried under the, uh, that soil for a long time, turn into fossil fuel, and you're burning this fossil fuel, you are releasing the carbon dioxide, which has been trapped million years ago. So the cycle is moving actually like that. On the other hand, plants and animals die, and the decomposer releases digestive enzyme onto their dead matter, and turn this complex carbohydrate into simple sugar. They actually, they got this uh, energy by this process. At the same time, they're also performing respiration, right? And by the process of respiration, they're releasing carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. And, uh, Okay. The speed of the decay also depends on the temperature, water, and these all. So, boys, this is the way carbon is moving from producer to the con consumer to the atmosphere. So, actually, this water cycle and carbon cycle, the questions are also not uh, that uh, frequent questions are coming in the past paper. The frequent questions are coming in nitrogen cycle. And this is the, a bit complicated also. And please, I hope you will try to clear your conception. So this, the, if you want to understand this nitrogen cycle, you need to know about the nitrogen fixation, 
and the, uh, the conversion of nitrogen to form that can be used to synthesize organic nitrogen compound. It means the soluble form, right? So what is nitrogen fixation? This question several times I have seen in the past paper and you did not understand what is sometimes they're giving you the, uh, that uh, uh, cycle, okay, that nitrogen cycle. They're asking you the, about the box, what happened in that X area or that uh, box area. So, the, you know, that sometimes it's nitrogen fixation, sometimes nitrification, sometimes denitrification. According to the question, you need to understand. So nitrogen fixation means the transformation of free nitrogen gas to ammonia by nitrogen fixing bacteria. Okay, called nitrogen fixation. This provides usable nitrogen for plants. These bacteria, actually, you know, that some of the plants, uh, especially we call them leguminosity family plants, <clears throat> the bean family, they have nodules in their roots. So this, excuse me, Nizan, are you okay? So this, uh, that uh, bacteria, uh, that have nodules uh, in their rhizobium. Now this rhizobium, I can understand 10C. 10C, Saad, you are, uh, Saad, the 10C group, they have uh, given you the picture. That is maybe Gaji Saad. Gaji Saad has given uh, one picture of this 10 bisat in that is the official group by 10 c group excuse me boys now he has deleted i can't understand are you okay boys why you are giving your uh, gazi sir could you please answer me why did you post this picture to 10 c group and that is not your picture if you want to post post your picture you are even you can post your own picture also and you were giving uh, that uh, such focus picture. Why? Uh, such shocker, are you? Yes, can you hear yes. me? Yes, yes. That 10 C, Sad, he has uploaded your picture in 10 C group. I don't know why, but he has deleted right now after telling me. And I'm asking him, he's not answering. You shouldn't do problem. it. Yeah, uh, this I have hello, seen hello, also. Hello, hello, I said in the chat, I said in the chat. 10C, this official group, you cannot send it as a, this is not a chit chat box, right? Yeah, yeah, you, that was a mistake, that was a mistake. Uh, I so was please going to post uh, be careful, thing. because whenever you are doing this mistake, and what happened, you know, other boys no, are I was going accused. to send something else, a mistake, mis mistake, mistake, okay, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry, sorry. Very and thank sorry. you for deleting. Okay, now that this type of, you know, the plants in the roots, they have nodules where some bacteria like rhizobiums are staying over there. And you know what this rhizobium bacteria are doing? They have taken this unreactive nitrogen from the atmosphere. And this, you know, that atmospheric, uh, that uh, unreactive nitrogen, they have converted it hmm, into a soluble form like uh, that ammonia. So this nitrogen fixing bacteria changes this unreactive nitrogen in a soluble form. So the plant will get this ammonia. Okay, and they will use this to make their amino acid. After that, they will make protein, which is needed for their growth. And at the same time, this rhizobium will get the, uh, that sugar from the plant. This is the symbiotic relationship where both the organisms are benefited. And you know, uh, some of the, uh, that uh, water form, water fawn, some of the algae like salvinia, azola, cyanobacteria, nostoc, anabina, calothrix. These are the many organisms lives in the water and uh, that uh, a very small structure, they can fix the nitrogen inside their body. They have a special type of cell in their body to fix the atmospheric unreactive nitrogen. So whenever you are taking atmospheric unreactive nitrogen and you're fixing it in a soluble form so that you can make your protein, amino acid and by assembling the amino acid, you can make your protein which you need it to make your body cell and to make your, uh, to give your energy. This is nitrogen fixation. Boys, we are also inhaling nitrogen, right? Uh, through the breathing time. But as it is unreactive form, atmospheric nitrogen, as it is comes out when you breathe out, we cannot use this. 
So this is natrogen fixation. I hope you understood, right? What is natrogen fixation? Means unreactive natrogen uh, gas from the air has been fixed with the uh, that uh, uh, rhizobium bacteria in the nodule of the uh, that uh, some plants. And you know that lightening, right? Lighting also add huge amount of uh, uh, several million tons of nitrate may be rich to the earth's surface through the lightning. Even though it's a very small fraction uh, compared to the whole nitrogen cycle, but even though we can consider this is a, also a matter, uh, the high temperature of the lightning discharge causes some of the nitrogen and oxygen in the air to combine and form oxide of nitrogen. And these dissolve in the rain and the wash into the soil as weak acid. This water, uh, where they are forming nitrates. And now, see the plant absorb these substances after nitrogen uh, fixation. They, get, uh, they got this soluble form of nitrogen converted to, to protein. And uh, they use this protein to make their chlorophyll and nucleic acid. So see that atmospheric unreactive nitrogen assimilated to the plant's body now. Primary consumer eat this plant. They can make their own protein. Now, this uh, that nitrogen become part of their primary consumer's body. Then secondary consumer, tertiary, so on. It will go through the food chain and food wave like that way. Now, what could happen when the death or decay happens? So each and every tropic level, right? Death and decay is a common process. And decomposer will break down this dead bodies of the animals or the plants. So the role of the decomposer is providing usable nitrogen containing substances by decomposition to plants. This produces ammonia myelin. And when that bacteria uh, that uh, decompose this and produces this ammonium ion in the time, some of the bacteria we call nitrifying bacteria converted this nitrogen containing substance into better nitrogen containing in more soluble form like nit uh, nit Trites and nitrates. So there are two steps. Okay, some of the bacteria we call nitrite bacteria. They uh, that ammonia turn into nitrites, and some of the bacteria nitrites to nitrates. Now this is the way that uh, that you know plants are getting that more soluble form of the nitrogen, uh, which they can use to make their protein. Now not only this thing. Some of the bacteria, we call them denitrifying bacteria. What they're doing, you know, denitrification. It means they convert the nitrogen containing substances hmm, into the atmosphere as a nitrogen gas. It means they have taken the soluble nitrogen and they converted it into the uh, unreactive form and send it back to the atmosphere again. This is called denitrification. So boys, the most important thing I told you, the nitrifying bacteria, the way it is converting the nitrogen containing substances into better nitrogen containing substances such as nitrates for the plants by nitrification huh, through nitrifying bacteria. This point, denitrification and nitrogen fixation, these are the three important points. It is coming to the past paper every time. Uh, any question of, from the regarding the cycle, boys, I need your feedback. Do you have any question? The three cycles we have uh, that to discuss no, right now. No, 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 miss. No, miss. No, now, miss. I, I, need one answer from you uh tell me if you are burning more fossil fuel what kind of effect will be there just one or two could you please tell me burning fossil fuel or global combustion? warming global yes global warming, warming. increase in carbon dioxide concentration excellent yes excellent increase carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases which will increase the temperature causes global warming and see global warming it's big, Great. yes. It's not a simple thing. It's also yeah, it can cause flooding. It can cause yes. flooding. Global warming means there are many things. There are a lot of points to get will be related. As I have asked you one or two points, and your answer is hundred percent right. And also many organisms will be the extinct, right? Because when the temperature will increree, many organisms will survive. Uh, that's survive properly. Not only these things, some of the pests will be more abundant because their life cycle will be short. Hmm. So they can uh, that, uh, increase the number more quickly. Weather That's condition will change. Flood, <laughs> you told already. And many arable land will be desert. Another factor. Another factor which uh, increases in the atmosphere carbon dioxide that is deforestation. 
फीस यस सर गाजी सर do you have any question gaji sir gaji sir muntasir and sir both of you are together no uh, both of you are talking together uh, okay so these are responsible for removing the you know that uh, see why deforestation is very dangerous is a matter of your existence gaji sir I I don't understand. He is having some problem. Now, uh, see deforestation. The effect of deforestation. I will talk later in different points. Just telling you that uh, that criteria. And this is another question, sir. Nowadays, it started coming that what are the factors that affect the rate of population growth? Reproduction. reproduction no factors affect the population growth why the reproduction rate will increase or decrease that is the question food uh, okay. food excellent yeah, food supply <clears throat> and if there is less predation and if there is less diseases now see this covid 19 almost say more than 30000 people has gone from the world right so within few weeks and how many are you know dying which is not counted we don't know right so diseases could you know that is spread some of the diseases could spread easily from one individual to another epidemics can reduce population sizes very rapidly which is going on and we are all suffering that's why uh, this pandemic or epidemics are very very dangerous now boys the that our time any time i could disconnect it because it shows that uh, time is less i will give you the link again now uh, that you know this lag phase log phase and the stationary phase right do you need me to explain this the three phases again no Boys? ah this is easy no. right lag phase uh, no, they are no, adjusting no. with no, the no, ecosystem no. log phase they have plenty of uh, that food more space less competition less toxic less waste so all these factors contribute to rapid increase of the population stationary phase yeah. limiting factors sure as the birth, food birth and death is equal yeah more waste causes the rate of reproduction slow down so death and birth rate become equal right so the graph goes straight that is the stationary phase and after that eventually the death uh, exists the birth rate so population number begins to drop and fear of the spring will leave long enough to reproduce the drop of the population number can happen because the food supply is in, in, uh, insufficient waste products contamination the habitat or the disease are uh, spread to the population this is the death phase so i think world is also in the death phase i don't know you all should pray boys so it should be normal it's very tough to stay like that and i'm missing my school and also i'm missing my students i don't know you also uh, you are also missing your friends right no miss i am missing the english classes <clears throat> you are doing yes i miss the teacher not the studies i am missing going out of my uh, house Same, I'm missing same. my students. I'm same. missing you same, all. Same. That's true. I'm missing you all because in our uh, that class, I'm missing Arabic. You are. Yes. Uh, I'm missing, missing, missing myself. Arabic. No, I'm missing Albaik. 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 Yeah, the outside food <laughs> is totally stop. Right, I stop uh, nowadays. You know that uh, you can fight with anything which you can see, and the things you cannot see is very tough. Right. every time washing these all you cannot go outside if you go outside you have to wear this uh, gloves mask coming back to home change this yes, curfew day. stopped everything and curfew from i don't know that i heard it will start for 24 hours because the riyadh number in madina is already started already started and no, no, riyadh like the riyadh they will tradition. they will only allow us to go outside for 2 hours uh, from yeah, this when madina when it will start in madina is 24 hours curfew no no do and you have you, any idea sir can... Sat shock. It's in the morning. You can only yes, go yes. outside morning. From today. Yeah. Is it no, for, no. for Riyadh also? Yeah. From Riyadh is from three to. Yeah, Riyadh is three to six, right? Yeah. No, like I heard yeah. that it will be only from I guess two to twelve uh, to two uh, from this like from tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not sure. 
God knows, you know, that situation uh, that is becoming more suffocating. It's really tough. Anyway, you only go outside. There's a very emergency situation. Like, and yeah, emergency situation go. and staying at then home you have to call, will make you, you have to sick, call right? one number, get permission and then go. Otherwise, you can't. Yeah, from which day it will start? I don't know. I heard that they are going to start like that, 24 hours. Maybe one or two hours you can go out or you have to uh, take the permission for necessary things. Anyway, no problem. Now, you know that human birth rate also, there is a reason to increase. If there is enough food, more uh, that uh, clean water supply, better sewage disposal and health education will increase human birth rate. And you know that pandemic or epidemic situation, how the population dropped down. And I heard that, uh, and see, this, uh, the virus, uh, the, what is the problem? Why scientists couldn't find any, uh, that uh, vaccine of this virus? Because, it's you know, it this, changes its shape. It's it's changes its shape. It has only single strain genetic material. You know this virus, which is covered with the protein coat that uh, fell little, which coat is made by fat layer, right? So this, yeah. it will be dissolved very easily. Uh, that you uh, you have you heard about this uh, that uh, it, it you can easily dissolve it by using alcohol or that any kind of uh, that soap if you uh, that uh, uh, with uh, 20 seconds if you wash from any surface you can remove it huh. but the problem is this virus when they are entering different different people's body it is changing the mutation you you learn about this all about it immunity and the uh, drugs chapter how uh, that yes, uh, and yes. i also told my student that maybe in the next generation they will suffer for antibiotic resistant bacteria also okay but virus which is actually not uh, the leading thing out of the host cell body it, 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 it doesn't have any uh, that uh, uh, you know that uh, way of working but as soon as it will enter your body it will start multiplying and it will uh, that affect your whole body and the most of the thing, what it is doing, you know, first it will take uh, uh, that in increase, it will start breeding in your throat. So you are having throat pain, slowly it will go down. And you know that in your trachea, there is the line of the, uh, that uh, ciliated cell and the goblet cell, they will destroy these all. And then they'll go down in the, in your lung, they start destroying your lung cell. So the lung will be filled with the water. So lung couldn't supply oxygen to your brain cell. And uh, brain cell means the whole body cell. So uh, you know that uh, all the organs are running by the oxygen, by the respiration, giving producing oxygen. By aerobic respiration, they need oxygen, right? If your brain cell did not receive yeah, this yeah. oxygen, three minutes, you will die. Either you'll be in coma or you'll die. So that's the things happening actually. When your lung couldn't supply the oxygen, your body organ collapse. This is the reason. Uh, so there is a social implication also, uh, something the people are telling that nature is becoming uh, purified within this one month of this uh, that quarantine period, uh, that uh, animals are benefited, pollution decreases and uh, natural 500 years before air has come back and that uh, natural ecosystem, the uh, uh, organisms increases their number they are walking on the road and at the same time many organisms are not getting food right they are uh, especially stray cat stray dog they are running even the birds they are moving from place to place for their food as the all the restaurant hotels everything has closed they are also having suffering with the food problem now boss uh, what is the social implication for increasing population uh, reproduction Increasing uh, population. See, increasing population, they will demand food the food resources, food right? Food scarce. Shortage of food, yeah. Clean water, space, medical care, all the basic resources, the shortage will come. And more land uh, will cause us deforestation, soil erosion, extinction of the many species will be there. The presence of larger young population demands their education which makes the uh, they might low. they might also More disrupt people, the food, right? uh, food web or food chain yes More welcome back 
to our second session was now I want to tell you something about the conservation. What would you think about the conservation? This is the process of looking after the natural environment, right? It attempts to maintain or increase the range of different species living in an area which is known as biodiversity. And in this con uh, conservation chapter, there are two different uh, definitions, which is, uh, you know, the very common in the ecology question. And it came to three times in the past paper also. And in the past paper, they're asking the question, uh, what is sustainable uh, that uh, development or sustainable resources? Explain with an example. What is sustainable resource? The resources which can be removed from the environment without running it out. This is called sustainable resource and providing for the need of an increasing human population without harming the environment is called sustainable development. So if the sustainable resources example they're asking you, you can give the example of afforestation, plant more trees like that. And the sustainable development, you can give the copy chain or the uh, selective filling, this kind of uh, example you can explain if they're asking this question. Now, uh, boys, do you think that conserving non-renewable resources like fossil fuels are very important? If you are thinking, yes, why? Could you please answer me, boys? If we use too much of the fossil fuels, it will we will run out because it's a non-renewable resource. It takes millions of years to form, right? Yeah. Uh, it causes pollution? It takes million years. The fossil fuel, you cannot replace one, you have used them. You need to limit your use of fossil fuel to ensure that there is still uh, that uh, some available for the future generation, right? You cannot waste the fossil fuels because the amount is short. It takes million years to form the dead plants and bacteria. So, because their uh, decay, partially decayed bodies were compressed and formed this coal, oil, or natural gas, it's not like that that, uh, uh, that you can form it very quickly. So that's the reason you have to conserve this non renewable energy sources because one, once it has gone, it's gone forever. And you cannot uh, that make sure that uh, uh, you have to make sure that the, there is something left for the future generation. See, when uh, in Bangladesh, when I was uh, like your age, I was a student like you. I have seen many people are misusing the gas. Even I have seen that people uh, that uh, switch on the gas for whole day because they don't want to waste their match stick. So whole day the, uh, the gas is open because it, it was the amount was used in that time. And I have seen some people are uh, that uh, opening the burner in a high flame. They uh, put on their clothes on top of the burner to make it dry. So what a misuse, imagine this all. Now what happened? We are misusing this all our natural gases now, right now. That cylinder gases, the people has to buy. So this situation we have created, right? If you misuse your resources, huh, so the next generation will suffer. Now that recycling, this aluminum, glasses, plastic, paper, you know this all. So one important thing that is, what is recycling? Huh. Recycling is the breaking down of the used item from the raw materials which are used to make new items. Products can be uh, reused or recycled uh, like glass, plastic. So whenever you need to recycle the paper, these are the question, uh, this is the question individually like paper, how paper recycle, it comes two, three times in the past paper. First you have to collect, sort out the waste paper, send to the recycling center. Waste paper can be mixed with water and chemicals break it down to form a pulp. This is passed through the filters that remove any glue is used to hold the pages together or the magazines or the books, right? So then treated to remove the printing ink from it, then add bleach and the rings. This leaves clean cellulose fiber, then roll and press to make it flat. You are getting the paper and recycling save millions of the trees every year. So of course you should recycle the paper. And one, two more thing, which is especially method of conserving fish stock. This 2019 also it came, 2018, 16, every time. Boys, I told you, conservation nowadays is very important because all the young generation, like you people, you need to know about, the, uh, about conservation because education is a very important thing to conserving our ecosystem.
because miss can you repeat what you just said miss yeah conserving the method of conserving forest and uh, fish stock every time even 2019 came 1816 every year this type of questions are coming because i told you education regarding the conservations are very important because see you are small you are teenagers and now in future after uh, 20 years uh, later you will be the uh, that uh, you will hold the that uh, you know you will uh, that play a great role to hold the world you know that uh, environment situation right and if you are educated you know the meaning of destroying your ecosystem in that time you will not do the things which can destroy our ecosystem that's why education is very important to increase your awareness so what is the method of conserving forest i told you about the clear felling right instead of cutting down all the trees in a forest just a small number of the trees you can cut down this is called selective breeding so one whole area instead of clearing the whole area select the trees from different places don't make it totally empty and government also it uh, has a great role they can refuse and the grant the license of the companies who want to cut down the valuable forest but many you know illegal groups are there they are cutting down uh, with the by bribing the uh, local authorities and that. these are going on every time everywhere another thing you can do the copy chain trees can be cut down above 1 meter or just above the ground level and left to regrow so the bottom part you have kept it the one meter you have uh, kept it from there new leaves will come new branches will come so over time this will be a new tree again so replanting uh, with the new seedlings and protect the seedlings until they are not becoming mature uh, and this is also uh, that method of uh, conserving forest and use renewable resources like solar energy wind energy wave energy to reduce the need of wood now method of conserving fish stock the one of the uh, that very you know that uh, important question last two three years these questions are coming regularly last 20, 20 uh, 19 also it came first international agreement and ban unauthorized fishing reduce the number of fish that are caught Point, uh, next point I can tell you, you know about the quota system, right? Quota system for controlling the number of fish that you have caught. These allow countries, regions or fishermen to catch only certain quantity of the fish. If you want also, you cannot cross that limit. So this also reduces. Okay. And uh, restriction on the time when fishing can occur because the sea boys, some of the time the fish are laying eggs, some of the time uh, that is small uh, that uh, fishes are will be more so restrict the time when the far, the fisherman can do the fishing and sometimes that some of the fish number has dropped down so to keep up the numbers of a particular species of the fish allow them to breed in the large number of the fish in the fish hatcheries uh, there is a hatchery right and release them when they are increasing the number release them from the hatchery into the natural uh, that water ecosystem this is called restock restocking is very important and uh, regulation of the method of uh, fishing like uh, may, uh, that uh, check the net size vessel size and and this because if you're using too small size net it could catch the small fish also and if you kill the small fish in future you will not get the big fish also and exclusion uh, zone right nursery zone no take zone re uh, reserve zone huh. so you have to create the zone so the Fisherman will understand these are the no take zone means only the fish those who are laying eggs are here nursery zone means only the small fish are here so you are not allowed to take uh, to catch the fish from that area reserve zone means maybe you are conserving the some some of the species so you are not allowed you are not permitted to catch the fish in that zone so exclusion zones also very important for this conservation of the fish uh, stock. And uh, sometimes some of the fish become uh, it's a threatened. Uh, the, some of the threatened fish species, and if you regular monitoring on the fish stock and uh, do the captive breeding, hmm, so you can increase the number. So the last, okay, is your education. Education 
raise awareness of the people to conserve the tissue stock. So you people, this tender raise, if, you, if we, with the teacher and your elders, give you this idea in your mind that this is your ecosystem, your world. You need the world, world don't need us, right? So this ecosystem, if you want to protect your existence, you have to be careful. And did you know this global warming reason? This, uh, the polar ice cap, the already the ice started melting. And million years before the dead bodies, which has been trapped in that uh, ice area, it is a starting coming out. And that dead bodies of the animals and then the different types of, uh, uh, even the human beings also, those who are hiking people going over there, thousand years before the dead bodies are still as it is. So they have lots of different kinds of uh, virus and bacteria in there. So which is washed away comes to the water bodies. And you know, through the water bodies, how long it will take to come near to you. So we are destroying our ecosystem and you have to pay for that. So education, only on education, increase the awareness. So you will not do anything against the ecosystem. Now, why? this conservation uh, what is the reason of this conservation uh, that uh, program to avert the organism's extinction because extinction means it will uh, that uh, disrupt the balance of the environment to maintain your biodiversity to maintain your natural habitat to maintain a good gene pool right today's organism may be in genetic engineering next uh, that after few years later it might need you maintain the food chain and uh, available for the scientific study. Nowadays, see, we don't have time. So the COVID-19 vaccine is of animal, they'll use it directly to the human being. They're asking for the volunteer. Anything could happen, you know, trial vaccine, you cannot say without symptoms. And also ecotourism and other economic uh, reason. If you conserve the, your uh, <coughs> forest properly, many people will be attracted, especially island this all they will come as a tourist to visit your area and which also another way you can earn money the country can earn money and if you are not conserving your ecosystem your habitat will destroy pollution will increase huh? climate will change diseases will come more predators will be there so your ecosystem will be destroyed and you will suffer now uh, I want to uh, tell you, so, and this question also sometime uh, coming that uh, about the advantages of captive breeding, these advantages. See, boys, captive breeding means you are keeping the organism artificially, the same environment you are giving to the organism, the organism needed to survive uh, naturally in the ecosystem, artificially you are making it. Hmm. And you are increasing their number. Before that, many organisms also increases their number like that when the organism number dropped down very low so the scientists are keeping them in a captive breeding area and trying to artificially increasing their number so they can maintain the genetic diversity increases the number of the threatened species maintained by diversity and some of the member of an endangered species are encouraged to breed in captive breeding because when the number are high enough some return to the wild to re-establish our natural uh, population but there is some disadvantages also see boys uh, the main problem in this captive breeding uh, the space is lack right so animals are kept sometimes in appropriate condition in terms of their physical environment and social well-being also and after whenever you are keeping organism in the captive breeding you are providing the food right so organism don't know how to find the food in nature. So when this organism, you are leaving them in the wild, huh, animals that have been bred in captive have difficulty to adjust in the wild. They couldn't find their uh, food because uh, you know that uh, they are not adjusted with the situation. And in captive breeding, limited number of organisms are breeding together. As all the organisms are closely related, they might create genetic disorder, genetic problem also be there. Okay, and uh, you know that uh, uh, sometimes uh, they couldn't compete with the wild organism and they die. This is, uh, these are the few, uh, the disadvantages and also it is very expensive, this captive breeding program also. Uh, sometimes many 
people want also, they couldn't make it successful because it's very expensive. Now, one more thing, this question, uh, 2019 it came, the requirement of sustainable development. What is the requirement, boys? First of all, we need cooperation for all different kinds of people and organization because ecosystem is a large topic and all the human beings in the world are connected with this term. You cannot divide it with the, you know, the country barrier. So cooperation of many different people and organization needed hmm, for the sustainable development. You need development plan and the constructed uh, construction method hmm, uh, should be uh, that uh, imposed on the ecosystem without damaging the environment. And if needed, strict laws should be imposed to protect the habitat and uh, reducing or controlling the public access to the habitat because many people are uh, that destroying. And if you declare this area is prohibited for the, uh, that, uh, for the uh, people, Huh. so that you can protect this area. Now what happens, see, as people are staying at home this quarantine period, uh, that now the dolphins are on the ocean, okay, and uh, that uh, animals are coming uh, on the road and fishes are coming near the, you know, that area. So there, actually, this is the thing, okay, that uh, if you uh, controlling the public access to the habitat, you can restore the natural habitat again. And last and very important thing is international organization can help to conserve ecosystem and maintain a sustainable development by working together. And so education and working together, these are the very important points so that you can conserve your ecosystem. So this is the conservation. Now, one small uh, the topic left that is food supply that I didn't explain. I'll explain the pollution and food supply. Before that, I just uh, want to tell you about deforestation idea and tell you, boys, could you please tell me the, what could be the effect of deforestation? The very important question in our past paper, every time it is coming, right? Cutting think, down trees. Hmm? Yeah. Soil erosion? No. Increasing carbon dioxide con concentration. Flooding. Yes. Flooding. Cutting down the trees. Biodiversity. And also the lack of oxygen, I guess, because... Balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, right? Less transpiration. Yeah. Reduced rainfall. Lack of rain causes drought and desertification. Uh, so actually, this is our uh, today's lecture now. So boys, next class, tomorrow you have class with me as I couldn't finish the past paper and I couldn't explain the pollution and the habitat destruction two points because ecology is a big chapter, right? So tomorrow, tomorrow, same time I have class with you, I will explain pollution, habitat destruction, and please all of you need to get ready with your past paper. So this is uh, our class. I'm going to end our meeting. And thank you, boys.